Cat Weasel here. Welcome back to Arkham Horror, Curse of the Dark Pharaoh, Turn 2. Right, in, two one, in Turn 1 we finished with uh, Tommy. He's uh, delayed at Miskatonic University. He's showing some um, museum curators around from Cairo rather than getting on with the job. Um, then we've got Ursula Downs. Ursula Downs is in the Abyss. She's exploring the Abyss. She followed uh, some of the artifact smugglers to uh, the Witch House where she found a gate which she passed into and she's now in the Abyss. Uh, Kate Winthrop went to the Unvisited Isle and um, narrowly missed getting cursed. Unfortunately it cost her uh, three clue tokens so we're going to have to start getting a few of those back. And finally, we've got Hank. Hank Samson, who went to the Black Cave, picked up a couple of clues, and he also used his ancient tablet. Um, as regards the ancient tablet, I did play it slightly wrong. Um, he got one success and one failure. Uh, as part of the success, he correctly took a spell, but as part of the failure, he only took one clue token. You actually get two clue tokens for a failure. So I've corrected that now, and he's now got five clues. And the fact that he's now got five clues means he's got enough to find his par. So he'll probably head up to the train station this turn. Right, okay, let's get right into it and go to the upkeep phase. So here we are, first up. We have Ursula Downs, who's the first player for this turn. Right. What she's going to do is, obviously, she's just going to move across in the abyss to the second half of the abyss. Um, her speed's already quite low. It's the lowest she can have it, so that's fine. Um, so there is not much to change. Um, as we've no longer got Noden's favour, she would probably use the Elder Sign. She's going to use the Elder Sign to shut the Abyss Gate. So uh, we won't bother moving any of her focus anywhere. And we'll just keep it at that. So that's it for Ursula Downs. Let's move on to Kate Winthrop. And here we are with the lovely Kate. Right. What uh, Kate is going to do is she's going to pick up some clues. In order to uh, fulfil her personal story, she'll need a couple of gate trophies. And she's only going to get gate trophies by shutting gates. And she's going to need clue tokens to do it. So she's going to pop to the unnameable. That's only two movement away. So she's got enough speed. Um, don't think there's any need to change anything else of what she's got there. So she's just going to move to the unnameable to pick up a couple of clue tokens. Right. Next up will be Hank Sampson. Here we are with Hank. Right. Hank's got, now got his five clue tokens correctly. And what he's going to do is he's going to get to the train station and have a good old look for his par. He'll need one, two, three, four, five movement. He has got five speed, so that'll give him five movement points. So that's all he needs there. Um, as far as having a encounter... Um, I think he's pretty well set up for what might um, come along. He's got his five clue tokens to get his par, so we're going to leave him like that. That's Hank done for the upkeep phase. Next up is Tommy. Right, here we are with Tommy. Uh, he's delayed, so there's not a great deal he can do. Um, I'm not going to use the old journal or anything because he's delayed. I don't think we should do. Um, so he's basically just going to spend a turn like messing around, getting the museum curators to the museum. Um, oh, one little thing. I said the uh, exhibit item he got was the Scales of Truth. I can't read. It is actually the Scales of Thoth. So pronounce that. Got it completely the wrong word, but he's got the scales of Thoth. So other than what he's got here, um, his focus has gone down as part of that um, local guide um, card that he got. And his focus is only one. 
So that's gone down to zero. So uh, he can't even move his focuses about. But um, no problem. Uh, he'll be ready to go next turn. And as soon as he moves next turn, we can get rid of that local guide card. Right. That's the end of the upkeep phase. Let's move on to the movement phase. And here we are with the city of Arkham. Right, first up is Ursula Downs. She's just gonna move across to the second part of the abyss. Then it's Kate Winthrop. She's just gonna move two, so one, two. Pick up these two clue tokens. Hopefully she'll be able to keep her keep her hands on these and not have to give them away. To pass a skill check. And next after that is Hank. So Hank's gonna go one, two, three, four, five into the train station. And next up is Tommy Muldoon, but he's delayed, so he's going nowhere. But we will stand him up signifying that next turn he will be able to move. Right, so that's it for the movement phase. Next up is the Arkham Encounter phase. And first up will be Kate, as Ursula is actually in an other world. So Kate's at the unnameable. So what that means is we get another green location deck. So I'll give it a quick shuffle. And let's see what we get. Luck finds those who need it. If your luck is one or lower, you find a lucky penny betw between the floorboards. You may search the skill deck and take the luck card. What is her luck? Her luck is one. So, she does get the luck. She does get the luck skill. Or does she? I have a feeling that Ursula Downs has already got the luck card. But we'll just check they might be more than one. Stealth, marksman, speed, bravery, law, will, stealth, will, sneak, expert, culture, bravery, Egyptology, fight, speed, law. Yes, there's an extra luck card. So she gets another skill. Not bad. Put that in there with marksman. So, a lot better than the previous card that we got. So that's it, she's found a lucky penny. Very good, well done Kate. And next up will be Hank. And here we are with Hank, he's in Northside at the train station. So that's an orange encounter deck for Northside. Um, he doesn't actually spend his clue tokens to find his par yet. He'll do that in the next upkeep phase. So essentially he's just running around the train station trying to find his par at the moment. And while he's doing that, he will have an encounter. So, whoop, put the right way up. Let's see what we get. Train station. You share a train car with a foreign visitor. When you step off and open your valise, you realise you grabbed the wrong one. Discard a common or unique item if able, then make a luck plus naught check. Oh, what's he got? Right, well, he hasn't got a unique item, thankfully. He's uh, already used the ancient tablet. Of his common items, he's got a 45 automatic. He's not getting rid of that. That wasn't in his valise. That was in his jacket pocket. He's got a lucky cigarette case and he's got food. So what he's going to do is he's going to discard the food. The foreign gentleman has now got a valise full of sandwiches. So we'll put that, we'll discard that and read the rest of the card. 
make a look plus naught check. So what might we have in the other valise? His luck is one, so he's going to get one dice. One dice to see what's in. This other guy's valise. Is that in? It is in. Come on. Let's pass it, Hank. Let's not throw the dice all over the floor, Hank. A one. Rubbish. So he didn't pass. So it doesn't look like we're going to get anything funky. We have got. You pass draw a number of unique or exhibit items equal to the number of successes and keep one. If you fail, gain one common item instead. So we did still get something. That's alright. Let's get the common item deck. And we get another 45 automatic. So he's dual wielding from now on. That's good. Good. Good for monster killing. He's got 245 automatics. That's excellent. Right, next up is Tommy Muldoon. And here we are with Tommy. <clears throat> Tommy's in a uh, street location, so he doesn't have an encounter. But he has stood up now, should be able to move next turn. So that's the end of the Arkham encounter phase. Next up is the Otherworld encounter phase. Welcome back, and here we are with Ursula in the Abyss. So let's uh, get the gate deck, and we're looking for a red or a blue gate. So first up is another blue gate, and the Abyss again. So a glowing light ahead draws you towards it. Make a luck minus one check. Her luck is... Five, so she'll get four dice. One, two, three, four. Let's see if she can pass. She does pass with two successes. If you pass, the glow is away home. Return to Arkham. Woohoo! So she's on her way back to Arkham. Excellent. So we can move her straight away back to the witch house, which is just a bit up there, out of shot. Discard the card and put the gate back, gate deck back into the holder. Right, so that's an excellent Otherworld encounter for Ursula, who gets to go back to the Witch House, and uh, she'll be out, basically she's uh, gained a turn, so the turn that we lost with uh, Tommy, uh, Ursula's gained, and she's back in Arkham already. Very good, right, let's get on to the Mythos phase. Here we are for the Mythos phase. Let's get the Mythos deck. We'll see what it has for us today. Right. A headline. But first of all, we have a gate at the Unvisited Isle. That's our third gate. Our third gate is opened. So, pick up the gate. There. Take the Doom token off. Now Arthur Tep is now up to three. And Unvisited Isle gets a gate. It's another Doom token on top of the deck, gate deck, and we pick up a monster. So what's our next monster going to be? Let's get down to the bottom. And there's one. Oh, another maniac. 
so we're doing quite well. We haven't got anything particularly bad yet. So, well, apart from the Shan. So, we're down now to uh, four spare monster stands. We've got two Maniacs and a Shan in Arkham. Right, so that's, that's that. There was no clue token at the Unvisited Isle because uh, it already been picked up by Kate. So let's see whether a clue appears at the Science Building. So, clue at the Science Building for somebody to pick up. Next is Monster Movement, which is Circles, Squares and Diamonds. So, the Shan is triangle, the maniacs are both crescents and the ancient whisper uh, token is a crescent so that doesn't move either so there's no monster movement so straight away we are onto the headline and the headline is lodge members watch the night all monsters in the French Hill streets all locations are returned to the cup well we don't have any um, nope, the only person who's in French Hill is Ursula. So we discard that. We still keep the Blood Magic Environment card. And that's the end of the Mythos phase for turn two. Right, so that wasn't a bad turn. Um, Hank got himself a 45 automatic to go with his other 45 automatic. He's getting ready to uh, find his par. Um, Tommy is no longer delayed. Uh, once he moves next turn, he'll be able to get rid of that um, of that card he's got, the local guide card, and possibly use his old journal, um, which uh, Ursula should be able to use as well. Ursula will be shutting a gate this turn. She's uh, she got very lucky. She um, came out of the abyss early and um, we've had one gate open, got another maniac and apart from that everything's looking pretty good touch wood for the moment okay so that's the end of turn two thanks once again for watching thanks for the subscriptions thanks for the views and thanks for the comments and i'll see you hopefully soon for turn three of arkham horror curse of the dark pharaoh toodaloo